Number six in our series of the eight steps to better putting, direction. Direction. We want to start the ball on the line. So, look, we've talked about aiming. We've talked about stability. We've talked about how the putter has to move on an arc. So, are any of those things directly responsible for the direction the ball goes in? Not so much, actually. The direction the ball goes in is more than 90%, 92%, some say, 92% the angle of the club face when you hit the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't have a lot to do with the path. So when people think straight back, straight through will help me putt better, as I said in the previous segment, it absolutely won't. Well, not the previous one, one before that. It absolutely won't. That has very little to do with direction. The, the path is maybe 8%, the club face 92%. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a learned skill. It is a trained skill. Nobody is good at this when they start. Absolutely nobody. So what are the drills you could do to try and make sure you're hitting with the face Oh, Well, I bet you have several. Well, I do have a few, actually. One of them would be, and I'm going to have you hit another one here. Okay. One of them would be to use a stripe ball like that with a special emphasis. I'm just going to come close to the camera again. With a special emphasis, I'm going to ask Robin here, that when you make contact with the ball, you are going to try and hit right on that seam. I'm going to go this way. Uh -huh. So hopefully you can see okay. I'd be hitting right on that seam. Got hitting it. right on the seam of that ball. That would be square. If I hit on the outside of the ball, if I would hit the yellow part of that ball, that's going to be a closed club face. If I would hit the red part of that ball, that would be an open club face. If you can imagine a little carpet tack coming out of the back of the ball, which is on the seam, and you think of hitting the seam, that will help you hit mm. with the putter face fairly square. So I want, I want that to be your first thought, but I've got a few yeah. drills here because the angle of the face when you hit the ball is vital. So that, for those who are very visual, that's an awesome visual. Yeah, I think to have that was, hitting was, the back was, of that. It was Raymond Floyd who told me that he always imagined, Masters champion, US Open champion, he imagined little carpet tack coming right out the back of the ball, mm. and he just thought of the club head as a hammer, and he was just going to knock that little carpet tack into the ball. So just, you know, tack it, tack in the back. Now, that ball went left, we're at the 50 50 mark, yes. but from an anal analysis point of view, there we are, I got it out. From an analysis <laughs> point of view, you hit slightly on the yellow part I did. of that ball. I did, yes. Uh, so yes. that's why that would go left. Now, things you could do either on the putting green or good. at home that would help you immensely. We've got some Ibis markers, one for yes. you. Yes, yes. I've got some two dimes. Di two dimes, so don't say I don't ever pay you anything. <laughs> two dimes, and I've got, I've got a T. Okay. Now, you could use a marker dimes or a tee to do the drill I'm going to show you and I'm actually I'm going to turn towards the camera I'm okay. going to have Robin do the same in a moment but the first thing I'm going to do is just put a tee in the ground I used a white tee so hopefully you can see that and I'm going to put my ball maybe maybe three feet two and a half feet away from it mm -hmm. again I'm going to try and aim it be very careful with the aim and I will do this sometimes before I go out and play. Sometimes the putting green might be busy and you can't always get right. the hole. Very good way to practice your short putting. And I will just see, can I hit that tee? I'm going through all the same protocols of the stability mm -hmm. and the wrists and the stroke. But can I hit the tee? And I'm, I'm scanning that line. Mm -hmm. I'm always highly aware of the target. Sort of an external cue, not an internal cue. Can I hit that tee? Yeah. And I did. It's good. So I would know that putter face is pretty square. For some reason, if that didn't float your boat or you didn't have any tees in your pocket mm -hmm. on the golf cart, mm -hmm. then you could, Rob, you did it this time, you could put a marker down there so, or you could put a coin down there, either I've or. I've got either. So it doesn't matter. About three feet in front of your putter. Okay, we've got that Ibis marker that's right there. Or you could put a coin, a quarter, or if you a really dime, a quarter. A dime, if you really want to test yourself, you'd put a dime. But can you Come. roll the? It's a good diagnostic test. It's good feedback. This is how we get better. We practice feedback. Um, this is great for me. So I'm going to go again through all the same protocols. Yes, you are. Are you going to aim? Absolutely, stability. Mm -hmm. Still the same cadence, but can you roll it over that marker? And you did. 
and that was very good. So you can be pretty sure there, I would say actually not pretty sure, you can be very sure that putter face was square. Mm -hmm. Hitting with the putter face square is a learned skill. And if you tend to push putts, <coughs> then you hit with the face open. If you tend to pull putts, you're hitting with the face mm -hmm. closed. A bit of practice either hitting the seam of the ball or over the um, over the mark would be good. I just love you, those drills. I'll give you one more, Rob. One one more good thing that someone could help you with. It would be this one, just to help hit with the putter face square. Mm -hmm. This was a drill I got from Dave Stockton, great teacher of putting. You just set up to the ball there for me. Dave Stockton, with all his students, would just stand over here, and we would be happy to help you with this or you could have your husband or wife help you. If you took the grip end of the putter and moved it about two or three inches this way, when you hit the ball, I want you to feel that you're going to, you don't want to be there to dress. Okay. You just want to get your left hand to go through to hit the end of that. Ah, so when yeah. I come through, when you come I won't have this. Mm -hmm. I want your left hand, it'll just do a good job of keeping gotcha. that putter face pretty square. Left hand, that's the idea, that was right on line. Yeah, it was right on line, and right on line. It's just a good, if you're wristy and you tend yeah. to pull putts, that's a very good drill. You could just have someone stand there and do that if you pull putts. If you push putts, it's not so good, actually. But if you pull mm. putts, mm -hmm. if you hit putts on the low side, yes. that's a good drill to do. So a number of drills there that would help you hit with the putts. Those are great. Square. Please remember, the angle of the face is 92% of the direction the ball goes yeah. in. The path is only 8%. Huge. That's an important 92%. 92%. That's huge to know. Yes, it is.